Good morning. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hi, there there's is. Melissa Etheridge. Woo! <laughs> How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. How are you guys? We are doing awesome. You know, we're just going to fan out here. I'm sorry. We're so in love with you, as always, all these years later, still loving the music. So I apologize <laughs> for being nervous and crazy around you, Melissa, but uh, we'll try to have a fun interview, okay? Oh, sure. No, I love it. It's all good. <laughs> That's awesome. So we're getting excited. You're going to be July 29th uh, right there at Toyota Center with Pat Benatar. Are you guys already out on the road right now? Yeah, we have been do- We did a show last night. We've been doing shows for uh, a couple weeks now. And we've uh, we- I toured a couple years ago with her. We've done a lot of shows together. I love that, that the-, the whole organization there. Well, we love your music. I know you got a brand new album out, The Medicine Show. Love this. I was listening to Faded by Design and uh, it's it's almost like it's like late '80s again for me. The music is just timeless, uh, Melissa. So thank you for that. Oh, that's that was on purpose. But thank you for uh, seeing that. Yeah, I really I really wanted to uh, put songs on this album that that were guitar driven, that were you know that were songs that that had lyrics and you know verses and choruses. <laughs> you know, really straightforward. Sort of songs that seems to be what people come to listen to my music for. Well, Faded by Design, the new single, one of the new singles. Um, where did the idea, where did the conception of that come from? Well, you know, the last uh, couple years have been really interesting in, in our world. And part of my journey has been in the cannabis space and uh, really understanding cannabis as medicine after going through breast cancer and 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 entering the uh, the world of cannabis as a business out here too, and and uh, that that song is addressing people who might be worried, <laughs> and and it's uh, you know it, it's an answer to hey you know this is this is my choice of how I relax. This is my glass of wine in the evening. You know, don't worry, I will be fine. So it's really. You know, it's it's by design that I'm faded. <laughs> <laughs> Let's well, talk about that wine. So the CBD wine, I'm very interested. Of course, you're coming to wine country, if you don't realize that. Tri-Cities, we're in wine country, Washington. And you have a, yeah. a new wine that you've teamed up. Tell us a little bit about that. I was very interested in that. Well, it's, it's um, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a difficult area to combine uh, cannabis or even CBD and wine and the uh, the federal government, everybody's getting kind of like, wait a minute. So that's actually been put on the back burner. The the wine that I've been uh, oh. uh, making, and yeah, I know because that's. <laughs> but when it comes out, it's going to be. It's really great. It's kind of basically what the CBD, what the what the effects are is you don't have to drink as much wine to feel relaxed, like you know, like you you want to when you drink wine. So it, it's kind of. It, call it healthy because you know it's alcohol but uh you know if if one can you know have one glass of wine and be satisfied instead of three it's definitely better for your health perfect i love it i love i love the idea of cbd and wine combined (laughs) yeah yeah well you're going to be enjoying wine and wine country no doubt about that when you guys get here um you know we do live in the era of collaborations melissa and is there anybody that's like at the top of your list to be collaborating with or, or have you basically collaborated with anybody you wanted to in the past, but is there somebody now today you would love to collaborate with? Oh, well, I've definitely had the pleasure of, you know, doing the collaborations of my dreams. I got to perform with, you know, Bruce Springsteen. Yes. That was that was pretty much it. But now today, there's, oh, there's some amazing artists. I still haven't um, got, got to sing with Steven Tyler. I always wanted to do that. And um, Adele, that, I think that would be fun. Oh, what a uh, pink. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Pink and I could. I mean, Pink and I have collaborated, but it was a private party, and you know, not for public consumption. So I, I would love to uh, do something on on record with her. I love. I, you know, when I think about that, that yeah, that different, like you said, Adele and you on a record, that would like both those voices would stand out. The I love the 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 vibrancy of that. So, uh, and oh. of course, I was going to talk about the boss. I knew, I knew when I was reading um, some of your stuff. You know, you're a huge Bruce Springsteen fan. Is that when you started playing guitar? I know you started playing guitar at eight. Is that your first, like, oh, I want to be like Bruce Springsteen? Oh, you know what? Well, uh, I, I didn't know of him when I first started. And um, the music I first started playing was country western music in uh, Kansas. What? And, you know, yeah, you know, it was, that was the only live bands that were around. And as I, I but I, I loved rock and roll. 
And so I really, uh, you know, I, the Beatles were a big influence. And then when Bruce finally came along in about 74, that's when I just went, whoa, this is, this is definitely the, the path I would, I, I would love to be that sort of rock and roll artist. And I did, I used to, it was always, what would Bruce do, you know? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and you've lived your life like that, too, for the most part. Absolutely, yeah. Talk to us a little bit about uh, being a breast cancer survivor. I don't know if a lot of people know that about you, Melissa, but um, that was quite the journey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, 15 years now cancer-free. So Yay. I'm very, yeah, very happy to be um, healthy. And then, um, you know, it, it it really changed my life. This was I was one of those people that, you know, you get that sort of diagnosis. And, boy, I really, I really woke up and said, wow, that life is a lot more than me stressing about, you know, money next month or something. And, and, uh, and it, uh, it really turned me around to my own personal responsibility in, in health, my own lifestyle changes. Uh, I changed the way I ate. I, but most of all, I changed, uh, the stress level that, that, uh, I would ever allow myself to be under. So I've, I've, that's, that's a big change. And, you know, like I said about the cannabis, that, that was a big, uh, part of it so i i'm i'm a big health advocate now yeah older and wiser right <laughs> amen to that let me tell you <laughs> so what can our fans or your fans expect to see at the show on monday Ooh, well they're in for a night of rock and roll that's for sure i'm gonna uh, be playing the hits absolutely the hits that you know and love we're gonna be pumping our fists in the air and i'm the only one yes and we're going to yeah come to my and, window uh, <laughs> I'll <laughs> I'll do a couple of uh a couple of new songs from the new album and then probably just a couple of deep track songs and then we that's because it's a co headlining, that's about all we'll do. Well, I'm super excited. The last time I saw you, Melissa, you uh had Sean Colvin open for you with Sunny Came Home, that song, and it was nineteen ninety eight. So yeah, uh, you put on a Woo. heck of a yeah, you put it's been twenty plus years, but you put on such a great show. Band is tight. I mean it's amazing and it's loud and fun and everybody's gonna have a great time, huh? That's the plan. That's exactly what I I, I am all about entertaining and and the, seeing the people moving and smiling. The band is wicked good. This is the best band I've ever had, and we're just uh, so excited to get out there and and rock. That's what we do. And do you have any advice for maybe the young women, future musicians, people that are thinking about, I would love to be like Melissa. Do you have any good advice for those young women looking up to you? I would say, I would say do what makes you feel good. I would say there's a lot of pathways one can take nowadays in the music industry. Uh, do what feels good and play for whoever will listen because uh, too many of us, lose that the, just that experience of playing for people and getting to know what it's like because to really make a living in this industry you gotta you gotta play for people you gotta play live that's where that's our bread and butter so make sure you're out there doing that make sure it's it's something that you love to do well you heard it from melissa etheridge giving great advice and of course a great show monday night toyota center tickets are on sale right now melissa thank you for calling in my pleasure. I'm looking forward to getting up there. I'm looking forward to seeing you too. Can hardly wait to give you a big hug. I'll be in the fifth row, Melissa. You'll <laughs> yeah, see. You'll yeah. see me, Melissa. Yeah, I'll be we're singing. We're... <laughs> Wave to me. Wave big to me. Okay. We will. We will. So thank you again, Melissa Etheridge. Have a great show. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right, guys. Bye bye. Thank you. See you, Melissa. Oh.